going on guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl mahogany make sure you guys hit the subscribe button turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time i drop another video also make sure you follow me on instagram at mahogany j underscore um and then on tiktok at mahogany's world with 3d y'all um i am up this morning and dressed i don't have <laughs> much on today and what i mean by much y'all i obviously got clothes on but i don't have like a whole big home right now um it is about 9 a.m and i have a 9 30 wax appointment Ooh, y'all um let me show y'all this thing real quick though it's super super chill like hopefully don't nobody knows me when i go out because your girl is getting just rolled out the bed i'm gonna throw on um like a jacket and um some shades we're gonna try to be low key because oh i am tired this morning but um this point was, was very much needed you hear me very much needed. something super chill and comfortable y'all as i told you guys in a few other vlogs i had to um go shopping because your girl hardly has any clothes. Well, I take that back. I have clothes. Let me go to my closet. But I have clothes, of course. But, you know, I need more, like, chill sets. And I have a few different sets. Like, y'all see this set right here. And then I have, like, a set like this. And, like, a set like that. I have this cute set right here. A Fashion Nova. Ooh, let me put that back on the hanger. I ain't trying to take nothing off the hanger. And then I have another green set right here from Fashion Nova. It's like leggings and like a sweater. But I'm not like 100% ready to wear those things because I can't like fit in them like 100% perfectly, if that makes sense. So, um, as you guys know, while pregnant, I was probably like a large. I think I was like a large. Um, yeah, I was like a large. And so, um now i am like a small and i wasn't expecting to lose weight so fast but y'all just running after all the kids work life i lost weight super fast and a lot of y'all in the comments was like you snatched back last time too but i don't know this time this feels like i just lost all the weight like super super fast nonetheless um but i won't i, I don't know i guess what i'm trying to say is yes i lost weight fast but stuff still isn't hitting the way I want it to hit. So I don't know if you guys remember with my second twin pregnancy, um, within like a month, we had recorded the, um, within a month after birth, we recorded the face reveal. And I had on like a, a shirt and some high waist pants and waist was giving super, super snatched or whatnot. And so like this time I've done the same as far as lost the weight, but of course my body is just different um, because it's just my third rodeo. And so it's like, ooh, that's the main thing. Um, So my outfits ain't like outfitting like I want them to right now. But granted, I need to give myself time. It's only been like, it hasn't even really been like a full month, honestly. I say all that to say, um, I have to kind of just find clothes that fit me in this like in-between body situation because I am a small, but you know how somebody can, two people can be a small, but their body shapes are different. So that's where I'm at. Like I'm a small, but my body shape is different. So crop top, I'm not really like about to put on a crop top in those kind of sets just yet. But y'all, I am um, getting ready to get my shade for my appointment. Definitely gonna go with these um, anytime. Like I'm trying to be low profile, I will use these glasses because to me it just takes up a big part of your face, and I like the tint on them, and it's just giving just what it needs to give in the most chillest outfits so i love 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 these shades let me grab some vaseline for my lips because they're getting dry so y'all know this is my first wax post giving birth so i am taking a few things with me um which one is my ibuprofen um this is the ibuprofen that i got from the hospital that there's a pain um so i'm gonna take one of those this morning because they are strong I really, you know, if I was just getting a wax and I just hadn't given birth, I wouldn't use that because, you know, 
of course, a wax was gonna be painful, but um, since the area is still kinda sensitive, that's why I wanna fix that this time. Um, bringing me a pad, just in case I need it. Um, I'm still very much, very much postpartum and still do use these, but I'm bringing me some extra ones. Um, I'm also bringing this, I'm probably doing the absolute most, um, but these are like those um, pad things that they put under you at the hospital. I'm bringing one today because I just don't know what to expect given, getting a wax post birth. So I wanna kinda put my own stuff down. They have their own setup, but I wanna put my own stuff down just to make sure I'm not, you know, I'm just being respectful and I'm just, cause I don't know what is gonna happen because I've never had one like post birth like this. So. I don't know. So I'm just being extra prepared and just bringing all my stuff. And I'm sure they probably gonna be appreciative because they like, you know, I'm going over the top. I might not even need. All right guys, so I have made it on the end. Um, I literally forgot uh, my jacket, y'all. So yeah, I am just in here looking like this. Got my mask on, my appointment's at 9.30, so. I'm here on time. Um, literally just waiting for um, them to call me back. Yeah, I'll post it when I first walked in here. It smells just like cleaner supplies. And it is clean. So I do love that. This is my first time here. Um, if y'all interested in coming, they do do walk ins. I just saw that. So that's really, really good. Um, I don't know if I told y'all I kind of waxed again. I'm going to Brazilian wax. So yeah, I'm sure y'all have assumed that now. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting for them to call me back. Alright y'all, so I'm in here. It's nice in here. I'm um, really taking off my bottom part. And y'all know. <laughs> and um getting ready for the session. So ooh, I feel like I'm usually super nervous, but y'all right now I'm not. I'm just like it is what it is here now. Alright y'all, so I'm ready. I'm sitting on this bed here waiting for her to come so guys i'm doing pretty good it's not it hasn't been too bad it's been pretty good she's done amazing and making me feel super super comfortable so Thank you. it's been it's been pretty good it's been pretty good Up for a second to go get some more wax. Am I that bad? Jesus. Um, but uh, it's going pretty good. Y'all just saw me endure that pool just now. Uh, she's but she's good. She's like breathing. You know, I breathe, and you know, at this point, I feel like we as women we do so much. Where it's like, and what I mean by I guess we endure so many different kind of pains. It's just like do what you gotta do do what you gotta do i don't even try to bring my anxiety into these appointments like i'd be nervous but i just be like i'm on the table now so what else can we do nothing unless i'm gonna back out which i'm not gonna do that at this point so um we are she just came back in uh, with the more wax so let's keep going all right y'all so we are done oh that won't be at all that was not bad at all um Y'all know I said I had ooh, brought all of like that stuff, you know, because I didn't know if I was gonna have to like put down, you know, one of these or anything, but no, I didn't. It was no, like there was no problem. Like this is where I was laying at. That's my mask right here. But it was no problem. I didn't even need that. So um, now I'm getting ready to get dressed. She did an amazing job, y'all. Like definitely check them out definitely check them out they were really good and um this was super super like painless i will say probably because y'all know if you've been watching my vlogs i did go get um my last wax y'all was in my before miami that's crazy so with that being said it had been a hot minute um and i think sometimes before you give birth i know i can't remember um with this one this last one because of course there was so much going on y'all and i'm not even trying to go back to that but um i think with my second set they did like shave me down so they might have did it this time i don't know but i do know that she did say it was long so i had quite enough to remove um so 
Anyway, it was a really, really good experience. I loved it, loved it with a capital L. Um, and it wasn't as painful as the one that I did um, going to Miami, like before I left from Miami. So I don't know if that's because I had one prior, um, but it was super painless. Like it was a really good experience. Y'all, I had came out to the truck, and then I realized, let me go back in here and see if they got an um, underarm appointment. I should have got that scheduled, but let me just see if they can take me real quick. We shall see. Hi. Yeah, I just left, but I was like, do y'all have an underarm appointment? I probably should have did that all at once, but do y'all have an underarm appointment? All right, guys, so it went really, really good. First time sugaring. <laughs> So guys, um, that was literally my first time um, sugaring. I had never did that before. I came in to do um, just a regular hard wax with my arms. Um, but she said I should try sugaring. So I tried that and it looked really good. Um, turned out good. So um, I can't say to me the sugaring was a little more painful, but she said um, that was because I had shaved the last, which I had shaved like quite some time ago. Um, and so she said that would that is what made sugaring painful this time. She said when I come back and I do sugaring again, it's not going to be painful. So um, to me, if I could rate the sugaring, I feel like I can't give a good rating right now because, like I said, I did shave last time. And so maybe when I come back again and I do sugaring again, then I can give y'all a more updated um, experience because to me, the sugar and hurt. Like when I do a hard wax, regardless if I shaved or not, that hard wax, they lay that joint on there, pull it, and the process is done. Um, whereas this one, like she was almost like she was nitpicking, like every little, like it was painful. It was, it was pain more painful than the Brazilian wax. What is it? And the sugar is ten dollars more, so which ain't a big deal, but I'm just letting you guys know so you guys know. Um, if you come and get sugaring, so comment down below if you did sugaring and what was your experience like? Cause for me it was giving, mm, but um, I have to, like I said, just try one more time to get a better, um, like accurate review and make sure I don't shave in between so I can get a full review. Then I'll let y'all know whether I'm gonna keep sugaring or I'm going back to my heart wax. Okay, but I'm not. All right, y'all. So I am in the truck. That makes my breakfast. I ended up getting me some Bojangles. I got um, an egg and country ham biscuit. I haven't had this in years, probably since I was like 15. <laughs> um, but I was like, I'm like, I gotta taste some some country ham. I probably don't even need that because of the salt that be in it. But that was what I wanted today. So I like I said, just got home, putting all this stuff up. Um, I'm gonna put the and so yeah, if you know. You know that I always take everything out because I switch bags all the time. So have the same stuff. Ooh, y'all. Ooh, something smells good in the kitchen. I don't know what it is. I went to my office, came back, smell like somebody cooking something. Um, but I threw that stuff in the trash as I said that I would. Now I am headed into the pantry. I am so hungry, y'all. I should've got two biscuits, but I ended up getting one. I told, I was like trying to like be all considered or not like, mm, not considered, what's the word? I was trying to be all, um, just like, oh, I just need one. No, I didn't even eat that much for dinner last night. I just said kind of went to bed, and so now I'm starving, so I'm in the pantry. Getting me a whole wine roll, um, because that should do it. Mm -hmm. That should do it. I am headed upstairs to change clothes because I had, as I had told you guys this morning, um, I just threw this outfit on, but I, like, once I go out in something and I sit on, like, you know, I had to obviously sit on, like, their table thing. I go ahead and take that outfit off because germs, people keep coming in and out. I don't care how much paper's on the table. People keep coming in and out. People not always changing their paper. Like, it can just get real germy and nasty. So I'm gonna take this outfit off, put it in the wash, and put something else on. 
All right, y'all, so I have taken off these clothes and I've changed. As I said, I would put on a chill little look of some real chill, real, real chill. This is what I have on, like, just give it real chill. Real, real chill, okay? And comfortable. Um, I'm probably gonna head downstairs. I'm gonna drop this off at the laundry and then I'm gonna head downstairs. But y'all, I am back downstairs. Um, baby boy is asleep over there. And um, I wish our TV was in, y'all, because if our TV was in, I literally would be on my couch watching movies. Um, but since it has not came yet, I'll probably end up going upstairs. Haven't quite figured it out yet, but regardless of what I do, I know I'm going to just kind of be just chilling and taking it easy today. I don't have much on the itinerary other than just kind of relaxing and resting and We'll see how that goes, because if you know me, you know your girl's always on something. Like, I feel like rest be going out the window. If you guys watch my channel on a regular basis, you also know that in one of my cook with me's, I had shared something that I had seen in this podcast on B. Simone's podcast. I can't remember the name of her podcast, but it's like her and her friend, I think Megan. And, um, and they had basically did this challenge, per se. And um, what it was, was they were talking about the, the importance of like knowing yourself and they said how would you describe yourself if you couldn't use um relationship titles or use your occupation meaning like if i was to describe myself you can't use any titles that are relationship titles so relationship title will be mom um dad sister aunt cousin you can't describe yourself using those and you can't decide describe yourself using um your occupation which would be like a business owner entrepreneur youtuber cook i don't know whatever your entrepreneur occupation is social media influencer you can't use none of those things um and i have been doing that and it has just been so like good and um it's really helped me continue to come one with myself and learn about myself because a lot of times when people ask me who am i you know i'll say i'm a wife i'm a mom I'm an influencer youtube entrepreneur yada 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 out there and those are all things that i am and that i do um i wear several different titles but who am i at my core which mahogany she's funny she's ambitious she's loving she's caring you have to describe yourself using those type of things and so I really love doing this, um, y'all. And I kind of like, every time I do like my journaling, I'll start off with that. Um, and I'll try to use adjectives that I didn't use before that describe me. Um, and so, like I said, some things that would describe me is like, I'm passionate, um, I'm super loving, super sweet, super kind, um, ambitious, very passionate, I think I say passionate. But those are some things that describe me and um you guys should definitely check it out you guys should definitely do it um i feel like a lot of people know so much about other people they're so invested in other people's lives that they don't even know about themselves so i think it's super important to just get to the core of yourself and really just learn about yourself and um i remember years ago years ago guys um back and i saw somebody's comment somebody said one thing my heart gonna do is reference her past listen y'all know i'm always here for a good story time okay um but years ago when i was like 18 um or was i like 17 17 or 18 um when i was studying at harvard i had basically been away from home because i was studying at harvard in boston massachusetts it was really in cambridge massachusetts but um and that was like 12 13 hours from home and home being lynchburg Virginia at the time um and that was really a time of isolation for me. And I was away from my friends, my family, and so many people who would, who I would usually go to for advice or, you know, people that I would talk to, I was like away from them. And so that season of isolation of me like being in school and studying, I learned so much about myself. And even though I felt very alone at times because I was so far away from family, I didn't, you know, I wasn't familiar to the area, nothing like that. Despite that, it was one of the most pivotal seasons in my life because I was able to really get to know myself outside of my family, friends, 
and different things like that, you know? And a lot of people, they don't like to be alone. They don't like those seasons of isolation because who likes to be alone? Who likes to be away from what's familiar? But I want to just encourage you guys that sometimes that's one of the best seasons in your life. Um, just those seasons when your ears are closed to everybody else and able to be open to God and able to be open to learning about yourself and learning about who you are at the core. What's your passion? You know, what have you been called to do? Um, what has God placed you on this earth to do? Because God has made us all so, so unique. Um, we all have different things that God created us to do, you know, and there's no one on this planet like us. There's no one on this planet that is like me. There will never be a me before. There was never a me before me. There will never be another me after me. And there's no one on this planet that's like me. Um, and so we have to really realize that about ourselves. So many people try to camouflage and be like other people. But the thing is, you at your core are so unique because there can never be another you. I don't care if your parents had another child or whatever the case would be. Um, you know, there would never be another you. You cannot be recreated. So with all that uniqueness God puts inside of you, discover who you are so that you can discover what you were called to do and why are you even on this earth? Like what reason did he make you? What reason did he place you on this earth? Because we all are here for a specific reason. Um, and so I want you guys to learn that and discover that about yourself. And then unless, um, I love you guys so, so much. I'm going to be leaving on out. Um, so guys, thank you so much for coming with me today. Today was an amazing, amazing day. Thank you for coming with me. Um, and make sure you guys just keep a like on my channel. Follow me on Instagram at mahoganysj underscore. Also on um, TikTok at mahoganysworld with the 3Ds, got me a new little Instagram, got me a new little TikTok handle, so I don't got to be like showing y'all the 3Ds, you can just see it on the Um, But follow me on TikTok as well. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Put on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time I got a new video. And as I always say, I love you guys so, 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 so much, and I mean it, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye! Oh, you give, give.